Well, hi, hello. Welcome to Makeup University. I'm Cheryl Lynn. Thanks for joining me today. You know what time it is. It's time for book club and lippies. So I just started this book. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But let's try our lippy on first. Have you seen this? Have you heard this? Have you tried this? It's NYX, NYX Powder Puff Lippy, Powder Lip Cream. Let's get into it. I have the color Best Buds. Uh, it's all sealed up, so let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> I actually had to pause and go get scissors. So this is what the package looks like. See that right there? And it says, Powder to the Pout. Puck her up and swipe on that just kiss blush oh flush of color featuring a soft cushion applicator blah 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 okay so i'm gonna give it a squeeze 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 shake 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 get ourselves a mirror open this up i don't know anything Ooh. oh it's starting to come through look at that Ooh. ah it's like Play-Doh. Do you remember those when you would make hair on top of your Play-Doh critters? No liner. Let's just go wild. We're going to bullet this on. Lower lip first. Smells good. I don't like to smell my lips. Um, the applicator's weird. I'm not saying no. I'm just saying you got the cheese touch color is amazing feel is good smell it's almost like vanilla lips uh let's go ahead and get into the book and let this wear while we talk powder puff lippy have you tried this i don't know mm -hmm. okay let's let's live with it now uh readers are leaders i love reading I read a lot, try to do a book a week. I've had the most insane work schedule lately. And honestly, today is the first day off and like, mm. so this is Ed Milette, The Power of One More, The Ultimate Guide to Happiness and Success. Who doesn't like that? So I started it last night, but this is what stuck out. So when I get a book, when I get a novel, I start at the beginning and I just enjoy the journey. When I get what I would consider more like a training book, training manual, leadership lessons, I flip through all the chapters. I definitely check out the last page first. <laughs> and then I find the chapters that speak to me. And I, <clears throat> true story, I go to the chapters that speak to me most because, and try this, if not like if you were starting The Hobbit. <laughs> Read that from the very first word, sentence, paragraph, chapter to the end. But when you try this, when you get like a personal growth, personal development book, my opinion, browse it, skim it, hit the like a buffet. When I go to the buffet, I'm definitely going to the prime rib station first, followed by the shrimps and crab legs bar. And then I like the salads and I'm not a huge dessert person, but you get what I'm saying here. I go to the one I want first. So when I got this book, I browsed and skimmed and then I honed in on, we're gonna look at chapter 11. One more impossibility thinkers and possibility achievers. Huh. Quote by, Rose in it, Rose, Eleanor Roosevelt. I needs to eat me some food or something. Okay, one's philosophy is not best expressed in words, it is expressed in the choices one makes. In the long run, we shape our lives and we shape ourselves. The process never ends until we die and the choices we make are ultimately our own responsibility. Eleanor Roosevelt. Continuing on with Ed Milet. When I say the last name Milet, I always think of like the 80s rom-com, I think it's called Heathers, is it? And it's where they make the one girl, Violet, to rule the school. Do you remember that? Was that Heathers or Jawbreaker? Anyhow, I digress. I think of that when I say his last name, Violet. The fundamental philosophy of one more 
continues both the acts of thinking and doing. To fully realize your best life, it's not enough to think about what you want to do. Your thinking can be pristine and spot on. Unless you put actions to those thoughts, you're not going anywhere in life. One more thinkers must also be one more doers. <sighs> that is so good. Okay, learn to think and do rich. This is what I'm looking at. And that part I just read you is actually in bold. You guys, I recommend the book. I'm not, I, that was just a little appetizer. Get this off of Amazon. There's a link below. What do we think about the lippy? Is this a do-over? Oh, I just found myself sticking out. I'll do that later. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is it a gimmick? Is this a gimmick? Well, we'll see. I'll update the Grandma Lama with it. Long story short, this week's book club and lippy, I would say double thumbs up for Ed Milet's The Power of One More. I don't know, I don't love, sometimes you put a product on and it's like, oh, oh, I love it. And sometimes you're like, mm -hmm. I think I, mm -hmm. on this one, I didn't like absolutely love it. So on that note, links will be below. You decide this is a definite must. Ooh, this would make a great graduation gift or Christmas gift. I'm just saying, hey, you know what else is a great gift? my own book. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. What are you reading right now? What's your go-to lippy? I am trying a lot of different products right now, trying to find the one go-to. I used to wear the Rock Explore faithfully and I can't find it anymore. So I'm not wearing it because I can't find it. Anywho, um, it's kind of growing on me. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you're reading, what's your favorite lippy right now, and as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all the youtube -y stuff, and I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University. Remember, you look really gorgeous today.